In this video, we're going to look at two different kinds of cryptic clue, later on reversals, but first up, hiddens, which work like this. And these are deceptively simple. They're easy to miss when you're looking for something more complex, but these ones hide in plain sight. Take this example, plane wing to nosedive into part of London. Now, as we know from the previous videos in the series, which if you haven't watched, please do go back and have a look at them because this will all make a lot more sense. Charades will ask you to find substitutions for words, homophones require you to find different spellings, and anagrams ask you to rearrange letters. These ones aren't quite as involved. The answer to this is there. It's hidden. I find these difficult to explain. It's always hard when a friend is stuck on a hidden and needs a guide. I don't know what kind of hint to give them because teaching a hidden is like teaching someone how to play Where's Wally. There's no way to instruct. You can only spoil. There. 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 Could you not? So the trick as always is to find the signpost that suggests that it's a hidden. Then find the definition and then just stare at the wordplay until the answer jumps out at you. Now a hidden signpost can be as obvious as hidden or hiding or concealed, or it could be as subtle as out of or even just from or in. Or conversely, instead of telling the solver the answer is lurking within the clue, you could tell them it needs to be extracted or removed or picked or plucked. It could be a section, a segment, a fraction or content. So all you really need to know is how cryptic clues are phrased and that these are a thing. There's not really much else to explain, so I'm just going to show you more examples. Sleuth locks her locket within. Now within, that's a pretty clear signpost, making sleuth on the other end the definition. And the answer is there. What about brown in the bowels of the Titanic? Gross. It's literally in the bowels of the Titanic, a three letter word for brown, which is there. Setter from Castle Ray. So from Castle Ray, you can get a setter, which is the very famous David Astle. And last one, comedian fulfilling the American dream. Fulfilling's a great signpost here. The comedian who is indeed fulfilling the American dream, Eric Andre. So the hidden in our master grid is actually one across. Rice stolen from pupil affair. So the signpost here is stolen, and the letters we're looking for have literally been stolen from the phrase pupil affair, giving us a rice dish. So it's, it's there. So the next clue type we're going to look at are reversals, which are exactly what they sound like. And if the name doesn't make it obvious already, try this example. Upending desserts when anxious. So if you upend the word desserts, you get the word stressed, which is a word for anxious. Any word for reversal could be a signpost. Take the German Red Revolt. It's not the title of a history book, but the revolution of the word red gives you the German the. Well, it's not the German the, it's, it's a the. There are several German thes. Other signposts could include flipped, inverted, turned around, even heading west. And that can get a little bit more tricky when you're dealing with the down clues because climbing, ascending, going up, even heading north. They all mean the same thing because they still mean going in the opposite direction. Take the example of vermin, a rising star. It can be even more subtle when they're concealed by a compound word. Take this example, backward sketch. The signpost here isn't backward, but in fact back. And ward, back, gives you draw, which is a word for sketch. And the same as talkback slandered. This one's a little trickier. Another word for talk is deliver. Spell that back and you get reviled. So going to our master grid, we've got 13 down, which is where the reversal is. With turn around given at the end, we know that quitters must be the literal. And we know that it starts with an R. So just look until you see it. it it's there. It's resignees. I had to include a reversal. This was the only place to do it. It's a bit forced. Now finding these contained within a single word or phrase without any letters overlapping to other words is incredibly rare, which is why they're very often paired up with hiddens and why we're looking at both of them together now. Since that wasn't the best example, here are some better ones.
This last one's my favourite. Addiction is a cause, in part, of going back to here. So we've got to find a part of this clue, going back, which refers to here, which is somewhere addiction keeps you coming back to. You might say that the entire clue also acts as a definition on its own, so keep that in mind for a later video. Well, that's it for today. Tune in for the next one. Links in the description for everything I'm doing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.